What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my client subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Capture the Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. I think I've got some new neighbors. I just want to let you guys know. I think I do. It's a family that lives, um, you know, the they fast cash sold their home right next to me on the left. If you're staring at the street on the left. Um, it's a family. They're a nice little family, it seems like. So we'll see. Um, just saying, just saying. All right. So um, I received a channeling in, so I'm going to deliver it. I uh, hope everybody is doing well. I do. Okay, so the channel message I received was infringement of rights is what I heard. That is all I heard so far, infringement of rights, which I'm sure we all know what infringement of rights means, but I Google definition it so everybody can be on the same page. By the way, thanks for all the new subscribers. I think we're like two, two away from 14,100. So um, if you... Um, if you guys think anyone else would like the channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. Um, it helps support a single mama and two kids. So just saying, just saying. Okay, so yeah. So I heard infringement of rights. So I Google definitioned it, which I know we, most of it, I mean, we all know, I would hope we all know what infringement of rights is, but I'm going to read the, the term, okay? What it says on Google, Google via Google definition, okay? What is an infringement of rights? A harm to one's right is an infringement. A violation of a statute is also an infringement. In a commercial contract, an infringement happens when one of the contracting par parties breaches the terms stated in the contract. So, I heard infringement of rights. I googled infringement of rights. That is what, what popped up. I'll read it one more time. To harm one's right is an infringement. So to trespass, violate someone's rights, liberties, and freedoms, basically. A violation of a statute is also an infringement. So whatever statute that is. In a commercial contract, an infringement happens when one of the contracting parties breaches the terms stated in the contract. So they basically don't do what they say they're going to do in the contract. By said time or what have you what have you what have you um uh, okay so that we're rolling with it so um infringement of rights so i think one of you guys's rights has been infringed on um you know we all have the right to um pursuit of life liberty and the pursuit of happiness um no one should infringe upon our rights to go out pursue uh to pursue our live our happiness and that's just the truth we all have the right to pursue right uh liberties and happiness and that's just the truth uh, so okay so yeah so i think one of you guys' rights has been infringed upon is what i think or maybe um there has been a contract infringement possibly where one of the uh, one of the contracting parties breaches the t the terms that were stated in the contract, possibly. Um, however, that resonates and applies, okay. Or some kind of violation of a statute. You plug it in, how it resonates, okay. So I feel guided to get Kipper. By the way, Mercury retrograde is coming up. I was going to Google that while I have y'all on the camera. It's coming up. Um, let's Google that real quick while I have y'all on here. It's not here yet, but it's coming up. The last one of the year.
September 9th through October 2nd is the third retrograde. We've already been through two retrogrades this year in 2022. The third one is September 9th through October 2nd. And then the fourth one begins December 29th. So at the very, very, very beginning, uh, very, very, very end of the year. So September 9th through October 2nd. Okay. So infringement of rights. You plug it in how it resonates. Main mail. Lovers. Number one or 15 can be a very significant number in one's life. Number one or 15. It can be a possible age of a child or yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. One or 15. Main mail. Lovers. Overstepping boundaries in a huge way. For some, it's your current lover. For some, it's your for former lover. Okay, I heard overstepping boundaries in a huge way. For some, it's your current lover. For some, it's your former lover. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for some, it's your current lover that has overstepped their boundaries and infringed upon your rights in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, for some, it could be involving a contract, possibly. For some, maybe not. But I'm feeling more like stopping on rights, liberties, and freedoms. Um, possibly. You plug it in how it, right, uh, how it resonates, but some kind of infringement of rights. Um, and overstepping, overstepping boundaries, whether it's your current lover or your former, former lover. And they're pulling up as lovers upright with the main male upright. So you're either currently sexually with them or... You are it, or you were with sexually with them in the past, past energy. Um, I feel it's a masculine energy or a femme that takes on heavy masculine. You plug it in how it resonates, and I think they have overstepped your boundaries in your home, your space, your dwelling, or regarding your home, space, or dwelling. How that resonates in a plus, definitely, definitely regarding your home. They are about to ever regret it. Huge tower moments are about to come to them. Okay, I heard definitely regarding your home. Um, they're about to ever regret it. Huge tower moments, negative tower moments are coming to them. So whether you're currently with them sexually or you used to be with them sexually in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, lover energy strong, whether it's current energetic lover space or former energetic lover space. I heard it's definitely regarding your home. Um, so for... I feel like for some, they could have placed hidden, hidden voyeur cameras in your home, or they could have manipulated a contract to try to go in their favor, like behind the scenes, trying to take money off the top or some shit, or to acquire some kind of property or land or structure or something of that nature behind the scenes regarding your home or property or something of that nature. Um... You plug it in, how it resonates. We've had a lot of stolen inheritance in here recently. So for some, it could be a current lover or former lover that has stolen your inheritance for some. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, I heard they're going to ever regret it. Uh, so they have done something. They have done something and they're going to ever regret it. Whatever the hell they've done, they're going to ever regret it. Whether you're currently sexually connected to them or formerly sexu sexually connected to them. And I, f I feel it definitely has to do with something inside, either inside your home, like placing a hidden camera in your home, or voyeuring you, or putting track devices um, 
on something or um, or um, uh, which would be invading, infringing upon one's rights, liberties, and freedoms. I'm just saying. Or it could be tracker devices on phones or devices um, or something of that nature. Or it could be um, manipulating some kind of contractual agreement to try to go in their favor regarding a home, a property, a wheel, etc., etc., etc. For some, it's your brother. For some, it's a masculine family member. Okay, so for some, it's your former lovers. For some, it's your current lover. For some, it's your brother. And for some, it's a former, uh, I mean, a masculine family member. So, uh, for some, it's your lover, for some, it's your former lover, for some, it's a brother, and for some, it's a masculine family member. So, like I said, the lover, I feel, could either be a masculine energy or a femme that takes on heavy masculine. The former, same for the former lover. And then, um, the, um, uh, brother would be a masculine, and then the masculine family member obviously would be a masculine. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. I heard they're about to ever regret it. Huge negative tower moments are coming for them. <clears throat> so let's pull some Terra and then we'll close it. These are very sexist people, very masculine, feminine energies, and and very uh, masculine masculines. These are very sexist people, very masculine masculines, and very masculine feminines. So there are fems in here too, uh, but they're very sexist. Sex, excuse me, sexist. So. Um, uh, they take on a lot, if it's fems, they take on very heavy masculine energy. So I'm feeling like dominatrix energy or or something of that nature, like librarian by day and then at night they're wearing stiletto boots and they have a whip and leather um, garter, you know, uh, that kind of energy or, um, or like sexist men that think that women don't know anything kind of thing. That women should be barefoot and pregnant and running around popping out babies. We live in 2022, man. If anybody's thinking like that, that that's really outdated belief systems. If anybody needs to hear that. Spirit messages you have a collective. Two of Swords reverse. The Empress, Emperor reverse. Seven of Wands. Three of Pentacles reverse. You have had very, 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 very controlling energies around you, but through many series of chain of events, very strange, negative things are about to start occurring for these people. They're about to pull away one at a time, one at a time, one at a time, because of huge negative power moments that are about to occur in their life. They know... You are strong and they're trying to break you down. They know you do it on your own and they're trying to break you down. But soon they're about to be broke down. 
That was a long but strong one. So you plug it in how it resonates. So whoever you are, you do it on your own. You're strong, you do it on your own. Like, I feel single mother or single father energy here. But whoever this is, it's, they're stalking you. Like, they're stalking and lurking you. And, but they're doing it strategically to try to break you down because they know you're strong, independent, and it's just you. And I heard you do it on your own. You do it on your own. So whatever you do, whether, um, and whatever you do and however that resonates, you do it on your own. They're trying to break you down by stalking you, lurking you, um, studying you, um, to break you down. But I heard, uh, negative and they're very controlling with the emperor reverse energy very controlling but um i heard through many series of, and it's many of them i feel for a lot of you guys it's a group or several people how that resonates and i'm serious like they work together like you're so strong just you you're such a powerful energy just you that it takes a freaking group of people to lock and lurk and stalk and gang stalk your ass basically so they are working in a group. This kind of reminds me of like cult-like energy. And I'm just being for real. Um, but I heard basically negative power moments are about to start occurring in their own life. One by one by one. So separately in their own separate individual lives. That basically it's about to start affecting them so badly is what it um, sounds like. Detrimentally. Detrimentally is what I just heard. Affecting them so detrimentally. So super badly. Detriment is horrible detrimentally that basically they're going to start falling away from stalking lurking gang stalking um creeping you one by one by one because they're about to be forced to because the universal force energy is what i'm feeling definite universal force energy coming and it's about to come quick definite universal force energy coming and it's about to come quick so definite universal force energy these people are about to start experiencing are detrimental negative tower moments one after one after one person after person after person you're a very strong being if you've got a mass of people coming after you and i'm just being for real you have a public platform you have a public platform i heard you have a public platform you have a public platform whoever you are now whatever public platform that is and how that resonates okay so no decisions been made yet they're super controlling, domineering, um, loved, alert, stalk, creep, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But heard universal force energy is coming soon. So I think maybe for some of these people, the law's on their ass is what I'm feeling, or they know about this, but no decision's been made to go after these people or apprehend these people yet. Maybe they don't have enough evidence or um, enough tips or something. But universal force energy is coming for these people. So I'm feeling like severe medical situations or motor vehicle accidents or or um or or huge money loss or something something how that resonate heard you do it on your own you stand alone you've had no help so no teamwork no help single independent energy here whether you're a single parent or not for some i feel you just be single 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 singles a pringle for some single parent which is still singles a pringle but raising little ones or big little ones how that resonates but you stand up for yourself you whoever you are you speak your truth you speak your truth and you have no problem speaking your truth standing up for yourself in the face of adversity and you do it by yourself you're very strong but that's why these assholes are coming after you very secretly coming after you been lurking your social media very heavily secretly coming after you been lurking your social media very heavily so they're secretly coming after you and they've been lurking your social media very heavily but i heard basically um ne very negative tower moments are about to happen to them and it's basically gonna weed them out one after one after one after one because Net, tower moments are not anything to be playing around with in the universe. They're really, really, really not positive or negative tower moments. These are going to be negative tower moments. But you're so, such a strong being that this big ass group of folks just love to come after your ass. Well, they're about to get taught a lesson, a universal lesson here, whoever you are. And I'm just being for real.
For one of you, you're about to have a death in your family soon. A sibling. This sibling has done nothing but torture you for years. And they have stolen very expensive things from you. Very expensive. Estate. Through many series of chain of events, you're about to get this back. Okay, so for one of you guys, you're about to have a death in your family soon. I heard a sibling. So that could be a brother or a sister. You plug it in, how it resonates. But for one, you're, I'm a bullet keeper. For one, you're about to have a death in your family soon, and it's a sibling. So it could be a foster sibling or, an adult, um, or a biological sibling, brother or sister, I'm feeling. You plug it in, how it resonates. But how that resonates, there are messages to your phone. Uh, but whoever this sibling is that's about to pass away, um, or they have tortured you for years. So they have done something tor terrible to you for years. Change, 555 energy. Uh, including stealing a state from you. Now, how they were able to steal a state from you, I have no idea because I'm not a thief. Um, that's pretty terrible. And they probably worked together with a big group of criminals to do it, I'm presuming. But how that resonates, um, they are about to um, pass away. And I heard once they pass away, um, they have stolen a state from you. And through many series of chain events, it sounds like after they pass away, I'm presuming, you will get it back. So I think they've stolen a home from you, a home building structure, or homes up. I heard a state. So I'm feeling it could be one home or two plus homes or, or a land or... Um, something of that nature. We have house reverse. Number 27 or 28 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 27 or 28. Expectation message upright. But I heard they've tortured you for years. So um, they've, I mean, obviously financial abuse here by stealing a state. That's financial abuse. It could be other ways they've tortured you as well. Once this person passes away, uh, some family members will not want you to know about their passing. They don't want you to come to the funeral, but it's it's not going to happen that way. You will be notified through many series of chain of events, and you're going to be notified quickly. It's going to make these people very uncomfortable, but they have to face the past. Okay, I heard once this person passes away, some of your family members don't want you to... Um, to know they don't they're not going to want you to know this person passes away it hasn't happened yet it sounds like it's upcoming okay but you, some of your family members aren't going to want you to know that this person's going to pass away because this person has stolen the state from you basically i'm sure that's probably why i heard they don't want to face the past so they don't want to face the past this person has stolen from you and they might have stolen from you as well possibly but and um but however that resonates i heard you will be notified you will be notified i heard you will be notified quickly um, so you can come to the funeral. And so the um, estate and um, property situation could be resolved too, I'm presuming. This is this is terrible, but at least for one of you guys, it's about to start getting uh, ironed out in the universe. So expectation upright with message upright. Somebody doesn't want you to get the message of the person about to pass away. They don't want you to know because they don't want you to know you were stolen from. But what is done in the dark has to come to the light, and that's the truth. It shouldn't have never happened to begin with. I heard it's going to make these people very uncomfortable. But the thing is, is it shouldn't have happened to begin with. And whoever you are, you're either truly single as a Pringle with no other dependents, or you were single as a Pringle like a single mother or single father. And that definitely shouldn't have happened. Definitely not. And that's just the truth. Coming from a single mother. And I'm just being for real. So expectation upright with message upright. Um, just be expecting uh, communication if this resonates and applies for you. The death has not happened yet. Um, but, um, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. But you plug it in, how it resonates. I think um, some of these people, I heard some didn't want you to know about this death. But it's not going to happen that way. So um, just know that, that they didn't want you to know. Whoever you are and how this applies, if this applies, they did not want you to know about this death to hide the estate that has been stolen from you. But, uh, but it's going to happen. So, good. 
All right. Well, I'm getting out of this. I love you guys so much because, and the reason I just want to say real quick before I close it, the reason they don't want you to know is because they're controlling. They're trying to control information. They're trying to control you through money and domination and control tactics. Emperor reverse energy is t terrible energy to be in. These people need to learn some integrity and I'm just being serious. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.